Alright guys, so here we are. We turned in one of the quests back at Old Tristram, and uh, I dyed my character stuff a little bit. She kind of reminds me of Miranda from Mass Effect. Um, anyway, wait, who's this Iron Cross guy? I don't know if anybody knows him. We'll find out. But um, one of my brother's buddies showed up as well, so we had three people. And it looks like now we have a fourth that I don't know. Somebody has to know him. Um, oh, he's level 10. Yeah, that's my, another friend of my brother's. But he's freaking level 10, and we're all level 2 and 3. So that's not very fun. But, uh, you know, whatever. We, at least we have four different characters in here, so that's something cool. And I suppose normal mode's going to be easy enough anyway, where it's like, who cares? Um, having more people in the game makes the dudes harder, too, so that's kind of cool. Oh, I'm frozen! And actually, that kind of hurt. frozen again. Open up this chest. So, um, totally lost my train of thought, sorry. Thinking on too many things at once. Now you have fudged the bucket and told me too many words to know. Gotta love that. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't even used to watching my health, but I saw everyone else's health bars at really low. Adria, she was the witch in um, Diablo 1, the first game. Right, it keeps telling me I've got crap in my inventory, but I don't. Um, can I use a shield with a crossbow? Sick, I can use a shield with a crossbow. Um, that's here, alright, so I'll get rid of that because I don't need it. Um, sweet, give me some boots. Get these white boots. Awesome. Alright, now she looks a little bit less like Miranda, at least from all but one angle. <laughs> but, um... Um, that's interesting. I can use a crossbow and a shield at the same time. Whatever. I don't care. So my, my demon huntress looks like a freaking Valkyrie over here. I mean, I'll take it. I have a thing for Valkyries, but that's alright. Oh. I hope they don't make these wings, like, available for purchase or anything like that later. Or like, via patch or something. They probably will, and that'll bother me. You know. Let me, let me have something for shelling out extra money for the collector's edition. Um, I bought the collector's edition mostly for the 4 gig Soulstone thumbstick, and it comes with a little head figurine, and emphasis on little, I thought it'd be a lot bigger than it was. That was actually slightly depressing. Um, but the art book and soundtrack, I plan to keep sealed, and maybe I'll just sell those separately because I don't really care too much. I mean, plus, my brother has one, so it's like if I really need to look at the art book, which I don't, I'll just borrow his, and I'll just install his soundtrack to my iPod anyway, so, you know, whatever. But, uh, you know, these wings are kind of chill. Well, let's see, so far the Witch Doctor has that like area of slow effect skill, which is pretty sweet. And the wizard's got like a frost arrow thing. So for the moment, <laughs> I feel like my character's the worst one here. But that's alright. She's the best looking for what that's worth. Nothing. Solid short sword. Is this lag? I see I'm running at 40 FPS now, as opposed to 60. Alright, I'm good to go now. They do share loot in this game. Oh, whoa, what the hell happened there? Couldn't tell you. Oh, knockback. That was a pretty sick knockback. Um, yeah, unlike in D2 where it's just a mad clicking race to figure everything out, um, it's all split up like a normal MMO would be. Um, so it's kind of nice, I suppose. 
but some people can, you know, obviously you're limited on what you can pick up, so I don't know. There's a lot of changes with D3 that I'm not quite sold on. Um, a lot of, like, the graphics look a little, they don't look bad, but it, I don't know. It just, it makes me think of Guild Wars 1 for some reason. It just looks a little too cell shaded and, I don't know, something. Not quite what I was expecting. D2 just looked more solid. Um... But I, I guess even on that note, when D2 came out, I wasn't excited for that at all. Like, I was excited for it, but um, I didn't like it more than the first one for a long time. So, I suppose I know I, know I just have to give this game a chance. I'm going to play it for freaking God knows how many hours. So, you know, a few things I'm not too fond of at the start, but I'm sure I'll grow to not even care. So, oh, I think I have a skill now, don't I? Sweet. Alright, entangling shot. Imbue an arrow with shadow energy, slowing up the two enemies. It seeks additional targets. I'll just get entangling shot. And what's this? Place a trap that slows enemies. Sure, why not? That seems alright. Now I can do more stuff. Awesome. Like, let me pick up this gold, because that's what I care more about. <laughs> so, thank you, I know how to use my skills. I can hear the birds chirping outside. It's about to be freaking dawn. Uh, let's see this entrapping thing. Alright, well... It's more of a group effect, that's for sure, but it doesn't seem to deal as much raw damage. Help, where? Where are you? Where are you? So, at least one cool aspect that I'm thinking is going to play a bigger factor that once you get to the higher difficulties and crap, like for right now, obviously all of us are just kind of standing around in the middle of groups, you know, tanking when we're not really tanks. And I feel like eventually that's going to change. And it's going to be a lot more based on, like, I'm going to have to be running around these people and actually setting up traps. And The Demon Hunter sounds like she's more of a finesse, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> type of character where I actually have to think as opposed to, you know, do nothing. <coughs> I have to click in certain ways as opposed to just click. <laughs> Heaven forbid. So... We'll see how that goes out for me, because usually I just like playing dumb meathead warriors, so it's a little bit on the different side. Okay, so this trap goes around me. I thought I could summon this trap around other enemies. What does it even do? I don't even know what this does. It slows enemies. Okay, so all my stuff is based on slowing enemies, so I may as well just change this back. I like slowing, I like inflicting statuses and slowing things. I don't care as much about raw damage. If I do a little bit less raw damage, but I inflict, you know, poison and slow and all sorts of other crap, like, I'm totally down for that. I, I just like status effects. I like sneaky stuff. Alright, what do we want to do? We want to find, okay, we want to find Kane this video. That's what we want to do. We want to accomplish something every vid. Otherwise, it's just running around. <laughs> Whatever. Now that there's four people, we're all kind of just like wandering around on our own. Um. Yeah, who? What? Oh, that's the level 11 guy just kind of running around dominating stuff. No big deal. So it looks like this trap that I have, if it goes around me, then I would have to run away after I cast it. No big deal. There, now they're going to be really slow, because that hand thing slows them down. 
and uh, my trap slows him down. But I guess when you have a level 10 Barbarian in a level 3 area, it doesn't really matter much, does it? We didn't clear the whole map, did we? At least I didn't. I don't know if these guys want to bother. Yeah. <sighs> they do want to bother. God, I'm sorry, it's like... What time is it now? Oh, sweet, look at this, 5.32. That doesn't seem right. It's got to be 6.32. My clock must be off. No, nope, it's 5.33, so, and it just changed up there, so yeah, it's, that's accurate. But, whatever, when did I last go to bed? I woke up at like, when did I wake I woke up at like 10, I think. Somebody called to schedule an interview, so I shouldn't really complain about that. <laughs> um, I did take a small nap at least, but I also had a hockey game, so I'm a little tired from that too. And that's where the meteor has fallen, ladies and gentlemen, or the fallen star, or whatever the hell it is. The story device. <laughs> oh, that's... oh, gold. Hand axe. Inventory is nice and large, but I'm carrying a bunch of worthless crap. At least gold is going to be guaranteed, like you will need as much gold as you can get type of deal, so that's kind of cool, but um, going up in increments of just a couple is not even really worth the time. But I'm just kind of picking up stuff for the moment. Alright, maybe I should pause the recording and get back to when Kane shows up? I don't know. No, it's still day one. I'll just show everything. I don't know. See, this is the problem. Like, I don't know exactly what I need to do with my recording, but whatever. I guess we'll just play a lot. Ah, destruction combo. Yeah, if you get like, sort of how like Halo 3 and crap like that has um, medals or trophies or whatever. No, I think those are medals. I don't know. I don't play Halo. I used to for achievements. <laughs> um, I think they're medals. I feel pretty stupid now, though. But, um... When... If you kill, you know, a certain amount of enemies in a certain amount... With, without a certain amount of time between them elapsing, you can get bonus EXP and crap like that. And same with destroying objects and, you know, other feats. So... Um... It's kind of a cool little thing. Like, it's not gonna matter too much, but... It's just nice to add little extra tidbits to your games here and there, wherever they show up. It... <sighs> Sorry. Give you incentives to do things slightly differently, too. Like, if I see a bunch of dudes in one area and a bunch of dudes in a different area, I'll have one group chase me down to the other just so I can get a little bit of bonus EXP. Like, I'm down for that. I don't care. So, if I'm destroying boxes... I recognize that, like, I stopped to look around and see what else there was that I could break. You know, trying to get that extra couple of points, even though it's totally worthless. It just, I like to micromanage crap. There you go, save Deckard Kane. There you go, this is what we wanted for episode two. Actually, I think you want it to break now, now that you're past it. There you go, perfect. you guys could hear that. Um, people in the house are kind of sleeping right now, so I don't have the speakers up very loud. But uh, his voice was kind of cool, because like, I could tell that there was multiple voices in his audio track when he was speaking, and they were just laid over each other, saying the same words. It was, it was actually kind of cool. So... Anyway, there's a magical guy that we just killed. I didn't even barely see him in time. He was dead before I recognized he was there, but... Alright, it looks like Deckard Kane has made his appearance, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'll talk to him real quick. Or, uh, apparently very quick. 
<laughs> but this is where we'll end our episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you later. Peace.